two capacitors connected in parallel have an effective capacitance of 20 microfarads. When connected in series, the effective capacitance is 4.8 microfarads. If one of the capacitors has a capacitance of C microfarads, show that C squared minus 20C plus 96 equals to 0. And then Roman 2, hence determine the values of the capacitance of each capacitor. Solution. So we shall say mm, let the let the capacitors be C one and C two. So they are saying that uh, when they are connected in series, they have twenty microfarads. Therefore. In the parallel, so we shall say C1 capacitor 1 plus capacitor 2 must give us 20 microfarads, and then when connected in series, the effective capacitance is 4.8. So in series, we shall have C1 dot C2 over C1 plus C2 must give us 4.8 microfarads so these are two important equations that we need to use now from here you can see that this is 20 because 20 is uh, c1 plus c2 so we can substitute this one by 20 so we can write this one as c1 dot c2 over 20 equals to 4.8 4.8 mm -hmm. so when you multiply both sides by 20 we have c1 c2 equals to 20 times 4.8 which equals to 96 so c1 mc2 equals 96 but from the first equation this we can make c to the subject from here c2 will be equal to 20 minus c1 therefore we come in this equation where there is c2 we replace with 20 minus c1 Therefore, this equation becomes uh, C1 into now C2, which is this one, 20 minus C1 must give us 96. If C1 equals to, equals to C, if C1 equals to C, then we have C into 20 minus C equals to 96. Open the bracket, we have 20 C minus C squared equals 96. So we have 20 C. minus c squared minus 96 equals to 0 therefore when you multiply through by negative 1 then we have c squared minus 20c plus 96 equals to 0 we have proved you can save from the equation they wanted us to show that they wanted us to show that c squared minus 20c plus 96 equals to zero 
think we have proved that. Then Roman 2, hence determine the values of the capacitance of each capacitor. So we, we are simply going to solve this equation because this is now the quadratic equation. Mm. So C squared minus 20C plus 96 equals to zero. So this is a quadratic equation. Um, so the formula, it will be C equals to minus P plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC over 2A. Now, our A equals to 1, our P equals to negative 20, our C equals to 96. Therefore, we substitute C equals to, so it'd be minus minus 20 plus or minus the square root of B squared, it'd be 20 squared minus 4 dot A is 1 dot 90, 96, what 2 times A, which is 1. So this equals to minus or minus positive, so it will be 20 plus or minus, this is 400, minus 4 times 1 times 96, this is 384 over 2. Now this equals to 20 plus or minus, this is 400, 400 minus 384, have the square root of 16 over 2. Uh -huh. Now, so we have c equals to 9 to be 20, to be 20 plus or minus 4 over, over 2. To here 1, to here 10, to here 2. So c equals to 10 plus or minus 2. So from here we have two values of capacitance. So C1 will be equal to 10 plus 2 which equals to 12. C2 will be equal to 10 minus 2 which equals to 8. So those are the two values of the capacitance. Thank you for watching and listening.